I need to show you another little trick with the rivets. Typically, when you use the nail, the washers, they have a little bit of play around the edge of that nail there. And uh, as you're hammering down on them, trying to fold that head over, these tend to bounce around. Sometimes they'll bounce off and they, they don't get real tight. So, what I've done is I've taken one of these round round washers and I put it on the anvil of my vise and I held it with my needle nose and I hammered down on it with a small ball peen hammer until it's just small enough that the the nail won't go through so when I push my my nail through the board and I put my cloth over it what I'll do is I'll have a small tube which I'll hit with a hammer and drive this washer down tight against the cloth then I can cut my nail with my side cutters and hammer it down and peen it over with the uh, the ball of my ball peen hammer and then that washer won't be bouncing around and just giving me a hard time so that's just something I've uh, taken from the copper rivets that we use that it naturally does that because of the taper on the rivet but we don't have that here alright so I've got this is the top of the shield over here when I've overlapped these I want the top to go over the bottom I don't want the bottom layer over the top so that's why I've got it like this I'm gonna do exactly like I did on the others but I'm just gonna get these started since I'm dealing with two layers of material it might be a little bit harder to manipulate Fold it down. Won't do it all the way. Okay. And there we go. Now we're secure under here under three zip ties so it's not just going to flop out and uh, we'll continue on Right, what I'm doing now is I've positioned my strap and the little washers we made that we squished down. I'm just working them down on the nail. Now I have a piece of steel under the board so that my nails don't uh, fall down when I'm hammering. There we go. Put it on here. See, remember, it's oblong. Put the needle nose over the top of it and the edges. So, nice and snug. And remember, we did that so that when we go to peen these over, they're not bouncing around on us. Those nails were a bit much for side cutters of this length. And I couldn't use my linesman pliers, so I had to use the Dremel cutoff wheel. I've got metal plates under here so I can pin these down. Put my glasses on. I'll see how easily they they fold over. working I just need a bigger hammer all right so that's the completed shield the outside there's the back 
Of course, we want the fancy handle. We didn't just put a leather strap or anything, which you could do. That's no problem. Show how to. Well, I didn't think this through too good, did I? Like that. Covers basically from the bottom of my chin to the top of my groin area. So I can. I protected most of the vital stuff. You'd have a helmet, whatever. It's not that heavy. It's comfortable. You just move your arm. It moves wherever you want it to. Of course, uh, I wrapped mine here with a little bit of cord. You don't have to. It could be a wood handle going across. But that's how it looks. I like it. Not that much. The wood... Uh, they didn't have a two by two piece. They had a two by four piece, two foot by four piece. So it was like fourteen bucks. So that's seven dollars for the for the wood. I went with zip ties. I got two dollars at Harbor Freight for a pack of one hundred. Uh, it took sixty five to go around a two foot diameter at one inch apart. The bolts holding the handle on were just left over all thread. The handle is conduit, and the spacers to make it a little more rigid were parts of a broom handle. And uh, that's it. That's all there is to it. Then you can get out there and do your practicing with the foam or the wooden wrapped in foam or whatever you want. So that's the round shield. Made pretty simply. Not too expensive. Fun to have. Now I've got another piece of wood. I can make another one. And then I just got to get somebody over here to swing some swords with me and practice a little bit. So, hope you enjoy that. Be the amazing great. Thank you for watching.